Understood. into one more? If you emerge victorious, I'll join your army! Am I ever? Let's do this! There be the sandpapery grit I was hoping for! We'll try our fins at a different course. If you can beat our time, then victory is yours! That other we only used half our sails out of fairness to the newcomer, but now the gloves come off! Of course, that's not accounting for the difference in the crafts themselves, so really it's more like half of half the advantage. Now are you ready? Form. Huh. And now I know for certain you're a man who's got me dorsal fin. So, you'll join us? In a heartbeat. And water splash me if I be lying, Cully. Henceforth, me and the Eurofi are 
at your service. Thanks, Scarlet. Now, with that settled, where do we sail to first?
Let's get it done! Lens! Yeah. Ah. Magical cutie missile! Muscle! Get that thing! thing so well. Uh, yeah! That didn't take long! Award for you get. Never failed at this. Not once. Is this the right... Uh... I mean... This is the right place. Yeah. Imper Shi'ark Self-Defense Force Captain, Eupharius VII, reporting for duty. It's a pleasure to have you. Well, I guess our work is done. Thanks to you, we can now call upon the Shi'aks for aid. That just leaves Sane's group. I wonder how they're faring. Their operation remains underway, Mom. In fact, I was just about to return to the Empire to check on their progress. Have I leave to depart? Go ahead, Hildy. Although, knowing Sane, I bet he's doing just fine. I am sure you're correct, sir. I'll return with good news as swiftly as possible.
Lieutenant? <sighs> Will you attempt to see your father, sir? As the Dukes' men are certain to be watching, it will require sneaking in. Another time, perhaps. How goes our progress in the mean? Second Lieutenant Valentine has been using his extra time here to scout locations. He's chosen a safe house in Lowtown, on the west side of the city. Shall we join him? Is there something you need, young man? So where's this safe house? The second lieutenant said we'd know once we got there. Subtle. If you're looking for now, but don't worry, folks around here are loyal. And they know all the good things House Kessling has done for them. Like how your family chips in for the festival every year. So whatever hot water you and Val are in is your business. Far as I'm concerned, you were never here. Thank <laughs> you. 
do it just like we discussed. Those pursuers might not be far behind. Leave it to us, Val. If someone don't belong, we'll sniff them out a league away. Huh? Say, ain't you that rich Kessling kid? Sorry, no. <laughs> All right, I get it. Well, no worries, stranger. Any friend of Val's is a friend of ours. Be seeing you. You both made it. Good. Who were those lovely chaps? Oh, just some old companions. Just because I made it into officer's school by the skin of my teeth doesn't make me any less of a low-towner. Some around here still look up to me. What's this about pursuers? If you mean is anyone after us, then yes, I'm sure they are. But we were discussing something else. I pulled strings at the Intelligence Bureau to find out which factions have ill feelings about Aldrich's power grab. But ill feelings or no, no one's willing to openly oppose him. Not even General Goldwyn? Nope. No question how he feels, but without proof of who offed the Emperor, he's not ready to move. Aldric dispatched General Goldwyn to Eucris just before the assassination, so he might quickly solidify his power base here. The Dukes has been thorough. Yes, indeed. But not completely so. I have a lead. Do tell. Paul? Bring him in. Um. It's all right. They're friends. My name is Sane Kessling. And who are you? Ivy. Yeah, yeah, Lou, sir. These girls are your lead. Yep, and they've got one head spinner of a tail. So the two of you escaped from Aldrich's Rune Lens research facility? Yes, sir. My people and I were taken from our village against our will. I had no hope of escape, let alone returning home. Then Ivy here came to my rescue. I was working at the facility as an engineer, but no one ever talked about what went on in the back of the place. And since being left in the dark gets me steamed, I decided to poke around and find out. Based on her description, Miss Yelu's village sounds like it's part of the Norsefarian territory that was ceded to the Empire. Is it possible your people were the whole reason Aldrich sought its annexation? All I know is that the Galdeans were trying to search the nearby Rune Barrow, sir. But I did hear him say they ran into trouble with the Guardians. To guess, I'd say they found our village purely by chance. As for why they abducted us, hmm. 
That's the same power as a rune lens. But where's the lens? Some of us villagers, like my brother and myself, are born with the power of rune lenses inside us. That terrible masked lady working for the Empire picked up on it and immediately had us all locked up. Wait, hang on. They locked up the entire village? Yes. My mother, my father, even my little brother. Forced internment? But why? Obviously not for anything good. When I heard all this, I figured others needed to know. So I went and sprung Yelu from the facility. But there was only room in my tool chest to smuggle her or her brother out. Couldn't do both. He stayed behind so I could escape. We managed to shake the Dukes' pursuers. Next thing we know, we'd wound up here. We came across them not far from here while hiding the rune tank. Although, we nearly had a situation with Ivy and her rune arms when she thought we were Imperial goons. And I'm still sorry about that! <laughs> no worries, though I wouldn't want to tangle your arms again anytime soon. I know, I know. I goofed. Please, sir. My family and the other villagers need your aid. Will you help them? What do you say? If the Duke's actions violate Imperial law, we might be able to turn the tide by making this affair public. Also... Also? The Imperial Army I know would never stand for this kind of behavior. He's acting like a damn tyrant. Now that's the spirit. So long as we're committing treason, might as well make it mean something. So the plan is, to infiltrate the Dukes' research facility, rescue the villagers, and expose this whole mess, right? Not quite. My apologies, Yelu. We may not be able to free your people right away. It may have to wait until we can make the Dukes' actions public. I'll take whatever help I can, sir. Thank you. We can take Sylva, I mean the rune tank, most of the way to the facility. I hid her over on the east side of town. Let's head there first. Come on, Yelu. Let's go. Okay. I'm so worried about my family. Well, 
Maroon Tank will get us to the facility faster than you can say, Paul's a genius. And my rune arms will smack the bad guys into next week. Cheers me somewhat. Right. Let's get moving. business. This is incredible. I'm a long way from designing runic tech on this scale. I don't know. Your arms trace the movements of your body, right? If you ask me, that kind of microtech is the real wonder. Oh, <laughs> you're a sweetie. It's time we departed. All set here. Still, Guardhaven Castle. If that's where we're headed, we're in for one wild ride. I'm... I'm sorry. I didn't know it would be so dangerous. But... We know what has to be done. And nothing will deter us from doing it. Even if it means infiltrating Aldrich's own stronghold. Right. Let's get this done. This is as close as I can bring her without being spotted. Remember, we're not here to storm the castle. All we have to do is sneak into the Rune Lens Research Facility, where the villagers are being held. We shouldn't encounter much resistance between here and my workshop. But past that, sentries galore. Perhaps it's best for you to stay here and leave this to us, Miss Yelu. Please, ma'am. I want to go. If I'm with you, the villagers are more likely to trust you. And besides, I should help. The first order of business is to find out what they're up to in the back of that facility. I'm guessing it ain't gonna be pretty. Oh. Second Lieutenant. Oh, uh, right. Sorry. Stand by, and make sure the rune tank is ready to go at a moment's notice. Yes, sir. All right, let's move.
Predictable outcome. I'm counting on you.
Strange. I thought we'd encounter more guards. Where are they? Low-ranking soldiers are forbidden from coming here, just like us engineers. Although, I always figured the place was full of, you know, high-ranking ones. Master Sane! Over there! Lieutenant. I know. They look just like the enemies we faced in the Rune Barrows. But how did they get here? Oh! <laughs> 
Never. Nothing to worry about. Sighted. Ready to intercept. Got you. What? <laughs> Sword. We've got this, right? Yeah! incident.
located. Ready to intercept. Does this mean I'm promoted? The area ahead looks promising. I must be getting nervous because I'm hearing voices in my head. Whatever we're doing, we better do it fast. Agreed. But first... Are these the villagers? Yes, Your Grace. <sighs> the Guardians have been hindering our progress through the Norsefarian Barrows, but finding that place was a windfall. A rune lens placed in a village in order to hide and protect it. <laughs> Simply fascinating. Milu, no! What are you gonna do to us? And what have you done with my mother and father? Well, well. Aren't you a brave lad? Rune lenses are... Fickle and unreliable, and reserve their blessings for only a chosen few. Some of whom, like yourself, are imbued with their power from birth. I think you can agree that's not very fair. What's your point? If all humanity is to take advantage of the Rune Lens's gifts, the nature of such gifts must first be elucidated. History demands we walk down this path. The righteous path. Do you not agree? I don't get what this has to do with us. See you that? It is a primal lens. The wellspring from which rune lenses derive their power. If we unravel its secrets, 
we can launch humanity into a bold new future. But I'm going to need your help for that young man. You will help me, won't you? Help? Is that what my parents are doing? And the other villages you stole? The Primal Lens does not give its secrets easily. It requires sacrifice. Sacrifice? Wait, you killed them? You killed them? comes at a blood price. And humanity must attain its destiny! Where are we? What's going... There! Over there! Did you do? <laughs> if it isn't the Kessling whelp. Mule all you want, boy. But I've no regret for my actions. Don't you dare gloat! How could you harm those innocent people? Unnecessary sacrifice. That much should be clear. Shut up! I offered House Kessling my favor, and you repay me with this folly! What you are doing is wrong! What I do is for the greater good. Something your small mind could never comprehend. Rather keep your hands clean than secure a future for your people! Damn right I would! It is time you learned your place. Keep your hands clean, then secure a future for your people! Damn right I would! Greater good! Don't be so full of yourself! Says the boy with no vision whatsoever. Greater good! Don't be so full of yourself! Says the boy with no vision whatsoever. your talent. 
Island. But you will see before you die. Lenses power. Sane Milu Milu Yalu, is that you? Help me understand something, little Kessling. How does one, born into nobility and gifted with such incredible talent, sink to treachery against his motherland? It's not... It's not treachery to do the right thing. Oh, this should be good. Do tell. If the cause were just, I would gladly lay down my life for Galdia. But this war was predicated on a lie. You wove fictions about other nations in order to declare a meaningless war. You killed His Excellency the Emperor so he couldn't stop you. And now you're murdering innocent people to draw out the lens's power. There is no justification for your actions. None! <laughs> Pathetic! Is that flaccid reasoning really the best you can muster? In the grand flow of history, no one will remember or care that you had scruples. That's how small men think. Small men with no vision for their country. All the same, I will do what is right. You will not shame or scare me away from it. Then it is time you vanished from the pages of history, as all small-minded men must. They escaped! Shall I pursue them? Yes. Take the prototypes. Let the boy taste the fruit of his contributions. As you command.
Will he be all right? I've stopped the bleeding and dressed the wound as best I can. He'll live. It'll be all right, sis. Oh, Milo. It's okay. I'll find a way to help the kid. What do we do now, Lieutenant? The Dukes will doubtless send pursuers after us. All villagers, listen to me. I will assign soldiers to protect you. Follow their lead and escape into the forest. Then remain hidden. But what if we can't get away? You will. Because we're going to draw the pursuer's attention. How? With silver... Uh, I mean... With a silver blaze of glory from my very inanimate ring tank. Exactly. And while we're making a fuss, you run in the other direction as fast as your legs can carry you. All right, we'll try. We're moving out shortly. Be ready. Yes, sir. You are sane. Begin the operation. Yes, sir. She'll be at peak pressure momentarily. We've decided we're going to help. I want a chance to stick it to that bloated gas bag. Yes. Please take us with you. It's going to be dangerous. I don't care. The Duke's has to pay. Technology is supposed to bring people happiness. What he's doing is... It's just wrong. I was too late to help my mother and father. And so many others. But I can still protect Milu and the villagers that are left. Please! <sighs> All right. Hop aboard. Thank you. You won't regret this. We're leaving. See that the villagers get to safety. Yes, ma'am. This way, everyone. Hurry! Be careful, Yalu. I will. And I know that I let you down sometimes. But I promise I'll never let anyone hurt you again. Come on, Milu. We have to go! Take care of him, all right? The tank is leaving! Move, move, move! Commence Operation Let's Bust Out of Here, followed by Operation Crazy Havoc. this. It's too damn easy. Maybe we need to make a bigger scene. I could fire another round toward the castle. We could try. Um, I 
like something's coming. Where? Does the 
the Dukes have monster henchmen or something? Don't be a ninny. Still, that thing was trying to block our escape. Yes. And stranger, I could sense runic power coming from it. The same power as in the lenses. We've seen monsters with raw crystallized lens material in their bodies before. I'm talking about something more focused and pure. Save the chatter for when it matters. We got company! Race for battle, everyone! Two arms! Takes care of that. The sky's the limit for me and these arms. Okay, what's going on? This one and the last were both fitted with rune lenses. And regules, too. A monster with a fully kitted lens. I really hope the Jukes isn't making those things in his facility. Over there! Well, 
I suppose that's what you get with prototypes. You! Those monsters were prototypes? Explain yourself! <laughs> oh, what am I to do with you? Oh no, not again! You won't stop us! That was one of the more complete specimens, too. Complete? 
How? Are you controlling those monsters through the lenses? Why would you do such a thing? Because they have utility as weapons. No way. This is the Duke's so-called progress. Monster or not, they're living things, and it's wrong to experiment on them. That's not technology! No way! I refuse to call it that! Call it what you will, it matters not. This next specimen was completed after we increased the Primal Lens's level of awakening. And it will finish you. Oh, and we have your reclusive people to thank for that, girl. <laughs> My parents! If it helps, theirs was a noble sacrifice for the betterment of humankind. I've heard enough. How you could call any part of this noble. How you could think you're bettering anything. There's not a shred of justice in you people. I agree. They're enemies of the world who must be stopped. For the sake of the Empire. Enemy sighted. Ready to intercept. me Here 
Retreating!
Appreciate that. Here. Onward. There is more to be done. We won. Somehow. Does this mean I'm promoted? on our side. We'll never lose to you! Oh, then we'll just try another. No! No more monsters! Hold on, everybody. I've got one more trick up my sleeve, and it's a doozy! What are you... Fashion combustor! What is necessary? And that's everything we saw and heard at Guardhaven Castle. <sighs> and what would you have me do with this? I trust you to decide, Father. There's no evidence. Even if I did get this to General Goldwyn, nothing would come of it. Save the Duke's wrath. I know. As the head of House Kessling, I must put the protection of our family first. Your actions amount to treason against the Empire, and I cannot condone them. Now leave, before your mother notices your home. I understand. Once I go, I promise to never return. Thank you for all the sacrifices you made for me, Father. Why, Sane? Uh, my brother told me time and again. Arthur. Yes. He always said, the greatest glory comes from doing right. I see. Goodbye, Father. I told you I could not condone your actions as the head of House Kessling, but as a father, I could not be prouder of both of my boys. Stand by your principles, my son. Yes, sir. <laughs> 